Hey guys, this is Mary Lee Johnson here with Steve Maeda for the 21 Report and the 21 Convention 2014, and you just gave your talk. Now, you are a veteran of the 21 Convention. You have seen things change, and I think the thing that's happened a lot is that the audience has gotten, they expect more. They don't just want the pickup stuff. They <coughs> want a lot of stuff, and your speech covered a lot of stuff. And it wasn't just its usual, usual stuff. And one of the things you said was that... Uh, happiness is an external or were you referring it to it as an intern so I was referring to uh, it basically meaning that happiness we see in our culture and this is part of our flaw with in our inability to find fulfillment in many things whether that's like fitness or, or sex or relationships is we see it as an external rather than to depend on what it actually is within us that was not the answer that I was expecting. I mean, that's, a, <laughs> that's exactly, but I have written in my notes here, just to let you guys know, just let them talk. Because yeah. I could just, usually I can just ask you, what's your favorite color? And then 30 minutes later, we'll, we'll get into a discussion. Well, if I could just say, like what you said, the expectation of the 21 convention, man, that is like what's so important to all of this is that it is, you know, it was this thing, like let's go back to 2008 that I just showed up for, you know, and, uh, I gave a talk and Anthony had seen it and you know he was friends with somebody that had an against me shirt on and I I like played with that band and before Tom became a transsexual and a true story um, but uh, which doesn't matter good for him but um, anyway the thing was is that uh, you know I just showed up you know I was like okay you know let's do this and man where it evolved couldn't be better is a teacher for me is a teacher for everybody else and to set a standard of the potential that w what we could do you know as coaches is just so awesome and uh, so really uh, you know it, it's tough you know I, I've taught in the social dynamics scene for a long time and so I like talking about that but I wanted to actually integrate something that uh, I had always believed but that I had seen the paleo guys doing for year years it's like how do we communicate and how do we live as we were really born to be you know, and so uh, I've always kind of taught that we were born to be social, born to be sexual, but the interesting thing is when we live outside of that, we get into, you know, some chaos and confusion and whether that's with health and getting too fat, you know, and not eating the foods that we were meant to eat or with, you know, how we're social and making it about superficialities or buying into a culture which is, you know, we search for the answers. And I think what I was talking about there is our culture says you know, and it's just one example of culture, not all cultures, but our culture says that happiness is something outside of ourselves, and it's not within us. Something to be purchased? Something to be purchased, consumed, uh, but even if you take it out of economics, it's like happiness is something that we chase because we're in deficit. And so when uh, kind of the crux of the speech was that if we are to... Um, you know, not be in fulfillment or not doing what we're born to live, you know, uh, and that could be with eating or socializing or sex or mentality or just using our bodies the way, the way they were meant to use, be used. Even if we are healthy by society standards, we still may be unfulfilled. So even though, let's say like, you know, CrossFit is big or if we get into bodybuilding, right? Um, there's great things that I've learned about healthiness or being healthy from that but I'm not actually in the natural expression of my body and there's a little bit of an insecurity propelling that. So, yeah. And then you talked about um, somebody might not be happy because they see something and it really worked great for somebody else and they tried it and it didn't work for them and then they're unhappy. Yeah, and I, you know, I mean, I'm the biggest, the reason why I say that is because I have to tell myself that every day, you know, I mean, geez, there's always somebody doing something more, there's so much stimuli, how we can do something better. Uh, and you know, the, you really see it when you get hungry. I always say, if you can find out what, how you react when you're rejected, uh, how you fail, and when you're around things that you don't like, what comes up and what makes you mad or pissed off or upset or insecure is really the window of what you need to work on and feed in your natural born to be state, like what your body and evolution was uh, made to do so that uh, you won't be hungry, you won't be speaking from de deficit and desperation. That's, it's really good not to feel like you're speaking from that when you can just speak from a place of 
security instead of always <laughs> just a reaction that's slightly yeah. insecure. Yeah. Well, this is uh, Steve Maeda. Everyone knows him. It's not like if you watched our videos, you don't know him by now. He's a veteran of the 21 convention. And they can find you at The Sexual Life? Yeah, there's a couple places. So uh, it depends what you're looking for. But The Sexual Life is a company and the, the, really the philosophy, what I spoke about, and you know, how we're born to be social, born to be sexual, and we kind of break down some evolution. And, and then also, if you're really into just wanting to know some free stuff about seduction that I really modeled off of the 21 convention, I started a, a Bang Radio, which is a podcast that's just five to 10 episodes a week all about anything you could imagine with uh, sex and dating and interesting stuff. It's pure content. It's awesome stuff. It is. I've, I've seen it. I've seen, I especially like the one with recently of you and Greg, uh, Greg Swan. So check that one out. And you can see uh, Steve's talk later on this week, I think. And uh, that's all for now from the 21 Report. Bye, guys. Bye.